So in this video, I'm gonna give you an example of a t-shirt sales funnel that was created using ClickFunnels. In fact, I believe this was a share funnel, but the cool thing about it is that one, it's very simple. Two, there's only four steps, might be one extra one, which I'll talk about. And pretty much you can just fill in what you need to use and go from there. So starting from the top, I kind of want to walk you through the idea and the process of this. So the first page is going to be very simple. You have a t-shirt, whatever it's going to be. You can talk about the price, the sizes, you know, and so on and so forth. But a lot of things that people do when it comes to t-shirts, they just want to make the sale and go. The important thing right here is that when you click on the buy it now button, it brings down the drop down box where they can add their name and of course email address. Now you don't have to use their name. Eventually you're going to need it obviously if you're shipping to them, but this is very important because it allows you to build an email list in the process, okay? So if for some reason they enter their email and they don't buy, you can always follow up with them. Plus, the good thing about that is that if they're going to be buying merch or t-shirts for a specific, say, niche, or let's just say they're buying, I don't know, like fun t-shirts that make people laugh or, you know, t-shirts based upon dogs or like I love my Labrador, whatever it's going to be, they're probably going to be interested in further things that are related to that same topic. So if you're selling Labrador, you know, t-shirts, they might be interested in mugs or the blankets or the towels that you also have related to that. That's where the email list is going to come in handy. Upon entering their information, they will arrive at the order form, which is pretty basic as you might see. It talks about everything else that's going to be needed or handy in terms of shipping to you. There is also going to be the option to add an order bump. In this specific example, it's not there, but that is a great feature of ClickFunnels. So instead of them just getting their one t-shirt, what they can also do is by having an order bump here, there's a checkbox where it says, hey, since you love this, would you also like to get the replica mug of it? So let's say you're selling a Labrador t-shirt. Would you also like to get this complimentary mug you know, that looks just like it. So when you drink out of your cup, you can think of your favorite dog in the world, something like that. Click on the button and it adds it to the order automatically for say $9, $10, whatever the price is going to be. The fact that you're already shipping something to them usually means that you'll have a lot of the costs covered. So adding an extra item is going to be really good and helping when it comes to your margins. Okay. Obviously it depends on what you're shipping. Uh, if you're, <laughs> if you're shipping them a t-shirt and then you, they order a complimentary bowling ball, there's gonna be some shipping costs, extra costs associated with that, okay? And next we move on to the OTO, very similar to McDonald's. It's like, hey, would you like fries with that? So they have their t-shirt. Would they like to get the accommodating hat for it? Would they like to get the upgrade of the sweatshirt? Would you like to get two for your friends or family? You know, there's a lot of things you can do here. This is where testing comes into play. But the cool thing is that usually if you find an offer that works, you can add just one hat for X amount of dollars. But if you buy two of them, you save a good amount of money, okay? And then of course at the end, no thanks, I'll pass at this time. The cool thing about ClickFunnels also, they do have the one-click upsell. So if they've already ordered from you and they have their information in there, all they need to do is click a button once and it'll automatically be added to the order. So when they're done, it goes to the order complete section. This is dynamically updated. So it'll say what they ordered and purchased. Then of course you can have other things here. This is just placeholders, obviously, since it's ClickFunnels. And then of course, this is a great aspect <clears throat> where they can call for discounts, where you can get more information. If there's anything else they'd like to order. So this is really good because if they're like, hey, do you have this, this, and this? This is the great time where they can actually reach out to you and add more to their purchase before you ship out to save you some more money. And of course, increase your margins. But that's just a very very simple sales funnel when it comes to t-shirts. It doesn't have to be anything too complicated. Uh, it's it's the same thing with selling anything except this, the fact that you're going to be shipping here. But I hope you got something out of this. I hope you got some ideas when it comes to creating a t-shirt sales funnel. This was specifically using ClickFunnels. If you want to test it out and create some sales funnels yourself for t-shirts, I will put a link down below. They do come with a free trial. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you got a lot of information out of this.